What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Sierra. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this video, but I'm also so, so scared. So I've been talking about it a little bit in my previous videos, but today is finally the day. We're going to Colorado in about 30 minutes. We're staying at the Stanley Hotel tonight. If you guys don't know what the Stanley Hotel is, it is known as one of the most famous haunted hotels in America, let alone the world. Being about the Stanley Hotel, which is probably one of the most popular horror movies ever. The story behind The Shining and how it was written is basically Stephen King was staying in room 217 at the Stanley Hotel and he had a nightmare in the middle of the night that his son was crying for a nanny and that he was chasing, running down the hallways, running away from like some weird vine creature or like murder or something like that and he woke up from his nightmare uh looked over at his wife went out onto the balcony to smoke a cigarette and by the time that the cigarette was done being smoked he had come up with the entire plot for the shining and wrote the movie that's insane it was even filmed at the stanley hotel outside in the gardens and stuff we'll definitely take a look at that when we get there because i think that's so cool so basically more about the stanley hotel i wrote down some like Things. So the Stanley Hotel was built in the early 1900s by Freeland Oscar Stanley and his wife, uh, I forget her name, Flora, Flora. Um, basically before the hotel was even being done, being built, um, F.O. Stanley died and he died in their house which was only a couple miles from the Stanley Hotel. So there's rumors that F.O. Stanley still haunts the hotel to this day and he's seen often in the lobby and the ballroom. Um, in the billiards room and there's like reports of seeing his figure with tours like showing around the hotel and stuff and then there was also a couple times where the people at the bar the like bartenders and the kitchen people would see him walking behind the bar and before he got to the kitchen they would say no sir you can't come into the kitchen and he would just disappear his wife flora stanley is often seen in the ballroom playing piano for the guests people will look into the uh ballroom and see piano keys moving but there's nobody sitting there and then when they go to further investigate investigate she just disappears altogether the piano music and everything floor four at the stanley hotel is known most for their hauntings and their ghostly experiences that the guests have reported um it's said that floor four used to hold the women and children of the unit back when it was not a hotel i don't i couldn't find more information about what it was before it was a hotel um lodging or something like that but basically floor four is the most haunted and that's where we're going to be staying tonight because i requested a room on the fourth floor there's quite a few rooms that are haunted and there's quite a few stories on those rooms room 401 holds lord dunraven who is actually a pretty friendly ghost you he likes women a lot so like me and my sister will be there but he does not like men and he often makes them feel unwelcome or steals things from their bags so that they can't find them when they get back to the room people see him outside of the hotel a lot in the window when nobody's staying um in that room and he also turns lights on and off in the room often and then there's room 407 who is haunted by a friendly ghost and they say that if your covers come off you at night or you kick them off he will tuck you back into bed uh room 418 is haunted by children's spirits and most of the fl fourth floor is haunted by children's spirits a lot of people say that they hear children playing in the hallway and that they kept them up all night playing and laughing and there was no children staying there. Room 418 is also haunted by a friendly cowboy who likes to kiss women's cheeks or foreheads before going to bed at night when they're laying there. Room 217, which is on the second floor, and this is the famous Stephen King suite. This is where he was staying when he had the nightmare. Room 217 is supposedly being haunted by Elizabeth Wilson, who was a maid at the Stanley Hotel, and she almost died with an explosion in that room way back in the day there was a gas leak and it exploded and threw her off of the floor and she had a couple broken bones she survived but she ended up coming back to work at the stanley and later ended up dying not at the stanley just in general but they say she still haunts the stanley because she saw it as her home and she will often clean your room for you unpack your luggage put your shoes in organized fashion and stuff like that and then the two most famous ones that i've seen personally is the security guard and the 17 year old girl who haunts the concert hall 
The security guard's name was Paul. He worked at the Stanley Hotel for like 10 years and he died of a heart attack. Not at the Stanley, just in general, but again, Paul saw the Stanley as his home. He lived, he was there so often that he like saw it as home and comforting. And so he supposedly haunts the concert hall and the areas that you're not supposed to be after 11 p.m. at night. It used to be so you had to go back to your room at 11 p.m. at night. This was back in the day. Nowadays, they leave everything open 24 seven for you to investigate or look around or just hang out with your friends. So people will say that after 11 p.m. they'll hear Paul say get out or even be physically shoved to move because he wants you to go back to your room. People also say they feel like chest pains when Paul's around because he died of a heart attack. And then the most famous that I've personally heard is Lucy who haunts the concert hall. She was a 15 or 16 or 17 year old runaway and she was living in the concert hall basement at the Stanley Hotel and guards at night when they were coming to shut everything down found her and kicked her out into the freezing cold winter air of Colorado and she ended up freezing to death because she couldn't find any shelter. So now she haunts the concert hall or the basement of the Stanley because she saw it as her home just like most of these ghosts and a lot of people catch pictures of her and crazy stuff in the concert hall. Mostly pictures, there's a lot of pictures of Lucy around on the Stanley Hotel Google images <laughs> or whatever. I'm really excited. I don't know what room we'll be staying in, but when I find out, I will definitely give more information on the ghost that supposedly haunts that room and what we're gonna find out. There's also a vortex in the Stanley Hotel. It's like a super famous room that they have right off the lobby to go up the stairs. It is a part of the staircase. If you look up Stanley Hotel images, the most famous picture is one of a ghost walking up the staircases in that room. So the vortex is basically there's six mirrors or eight mirrors on one side, eight mirrors on the other, and they all completely face each other, which in like spiritual and haunted places, that's like the number one no-no because it just creates a portal for spirits to go in and out of. The Stanley Hotel was also rumored to be built on an Indian burial site, so that's where a lot of other paranormal activity comes from. And all of the hallways of the Stanley Hotel also have a portal from a mirror to a mirror on every floor. Which is crazy. I'm very excited, but I'm also so nervous. I'm, yeah, I'm bringing all my ghost shit, obviously. I'm bringing my sister along with me, my friend Austin, and Micah, who you guys have seen in my abandoned zoo video. Oh, Austin was in the abandoned high school video. So, we're very excited, and we are taking off in about 15 minutes. So I should probably pack up the rest of my stuff and get on the road, but we're going to the Stanley Hotel tonight. Oh my God, I'll see you in Colorado, bitches. <laughs> That was the worst flight of my entire life. But we did here, yeah, we're here. We're about to go, we're about to go. I'm literally not, but I'm trying to be a Bridgerton. I want to be a Bridgerton. We are Bridgerton. Yeah, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. We're gonna go get our rental car, so bougie and fun. It's like literally a minivan. And then going to hunt ghosts. That's the concert hall. That's where Lucy resides. Stanley Hotel, baby. I'm lost. I'm already lost. That's Stephen King's room. Oh. 
vortex. I'm out of breath, excuse my panting. I just ran up like four flights of stairs. Holy shit. Okay, room tour. We're in room 413. Bathroom. I'm like out of breath. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't think I can even get that on camera. H E L P in fog on our fucking window. Uh, I don't know if that counts like an I. Oh know. my I god. Like what? Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see. So, Sierra is in the shower right now, and the boy has left. So, my duty, even though I'm exhausted, is to scare the fuck out of her. Asking. Um, we asked him if he wanted to even talk to us. Huh? Um, and and then we asked him if he liked staying here, and he said, "You said no." They were like, "What don't you like about it?" And you said, "I'm not satisfied." We were like, Holy shit! Wait, really? You were like, "Why did they remodel? Like, like what do you like not like about it or whatever?" I forget what else you said. I wish I recorded the whole thing. That was dumb of me. Yeah. We can. All right, go. What's your name? Next time. There isn't the next time. So you don't want to talk to us now is what you're saying? Where do you hide is not my business. Uh, know let me start. out. Where? Where do we need to let you out of? Your end, I'm heading back. Forty after. Forty after what? We just want to talk to you. You don't have to talk to us. This is the one. What's your favorite color? Progress. <laughs> oh, he just wants a normal conversation. Yeah, I'm just trying to like hang out here. If you want to die, I do. It's a toxic battle. Sneezing on people. That's Dude, weird. that was creepy. Any of those work out? You said let me out. That was fucking sad and do creepy. You want to die? And then you said if you me. want to die or something. All right, so let's go take a look around. That's creepy. This whole thing's open. Ceiling. What are these doors to? Who wants to open them? Oh. Yeah, what the fuck? This is, yeah, we're at the top of it. So it's red. You can still go up there. Yeah. There's two of them now. There didn't used to be that many. 428. Not right there. This is where the cowboy lives. This is the one that doesn't like the men, but likes the women. Creepy. So there's like a balcony. Can you go out on it? Oh, you can go downstairs. That's kind of cool. 
Interesting. Okay. We got fountains. Do we want to go down the stairs? Uh, hold that door open. I didn't I'll put any down. shoesies on, so I'll stay here. <laughs> the other end of the hallway as well. Four doors. Oh, I thought it was a vending machine. Huh. Okay, well, the third floor doesn't really matter. Let's get down to the second. Now I'm gonna go to the second and see Stephen King's room and then go to the basement. Or the vortex room and then the basement. There's other people here. Come on, guys. Damn, that was loud, though. What the fuck are they doing? They broke the bed. Okay, this is Stephen King's room. 217. It's the most famous picture they've ever taken of the Stanley Hotel as a woman walking up these stairs. She had no feet. He's out. Ghost. He said deuces. Yeah, this room is definitely eerie. Gonna go down the basement. There's fish. Aww, fish are tens. Are we gonna go to the hall basement? I want to, but they're not allowing us to. I thought you said the basement was open. The basement here is open. Oh, just not the concert hall basement? I guess not, but oh. I would definitely want to try. This is the basement? This isn't spooky. Not really. It turned it into. Oh, it was in The Shining. Oh. That's cool. The music room and the famous piano. Okay, I put. Our room is such a mess. I put a lollipop over there by that cupboard. And I put a lollipop yes, over there by that. The front lady, the front the desk table? lady, what was her name again? Did you put a lollipop on the table? No, I put one on the floor there and one on the floor over there. Floor, Kimberly gave me some candies just for our room. She said that the children like them and that we can put them in our room. I don't know, she asked if we had candy and I was like, Did no. You so it? she gave us some candy. She also told us that there was a a guy roaming the fourth Surprise. floor yeah. and downstairs by the tunnels or whatever. So if we wanted to go check it out later. Hey, Boo. Wilson. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey. I'm on the roof. That was steep. steep That's roof. so scary that the window opens in a fourth floor hotel. Yeah, normally not a thing, but. Like, he's just vibing. He's <laughs> straight vibing. Like there was this pressure on my forehead. Something like just touched my head. I woke up this morning to Austin like literally sitting up in bed and running towards the window and jumping out onto the roof. Oh, when you said that, it's like to I heard that to your footsteps. I remember hearing your voice saying Austin and I's name, and then I got hit in the head. Tonight.